Now obviously you want to modify your car, because some cars do come cool from the factory, but all cars could use a sprinkle of the aftermarket to make them extra cool. And as we all know, the better your car is, the cooler you look. However, you're not going to look cool after dropping a soap in a shower room full of motorcycle gang members. So to make sure you keep your rear end tight for your boyfriend, let's take a look at some of the modifications you may need to avoid doing. The first illegal thing on this list is picking your nose, I mean tinting your windows. So apparently this can impede police work during a traffic stop because it gives you time to finish your beer before the officer gets to the window. Do you know how fast you're going back there? Don't worry sir, it's empty. Alright, you're good to go. And apparently some people tint their windows so much that it causes them not to be able to see at night and then they end up crashing their car. It ends up being like wearing sunglasses at night. Like, yeah, you look cool, but you're not gonna look cool once you walk straight into a pole. <laughs> and the next illegal item is nitrous, AKA laughing gas. Now you could use this for your engine to make your car faster, but I think the better use is to plummet straight into your face. And by doing that, you'll have a bit of antidepressant medication right on tap for those days that you're going to the job you hate. The reason it's banned is because you're literally carrying around a bottle of compressed combustion accelerant, and so when you get in an accident, it has a tendency to become a giant fucking fireball. And it also doesn't help that nitrous kills brain cells faster than sniffing glue. And speaking of brain death, the next modification on our list is neon lights. So depending on the amount of nitrous you've been huffing lately, you can either put these neons on the interior of your car, or if your brain is really decayed, you can put them on the underside of your car. Now sadly, the interior LEDs are not banned yet. Hopefully they will be soon, but luckily the ones on the outside are. Now this law has actually saved countless lives by saving people from vomiting in their own mouths and choking on it due to seeing a car with neon lights. Now the most tragic thing is that despite the government's best efforts to help those that are mentally ill, people still think that neons are cool. And while we're on the topic of tragedies, rates of depression have been rising, and that means we need remedies to it. Remedies like making your car faster and more fun. And the government has seen us modifying cars to curb our depression, and they are against it. Now this entails things like the banning of ECU tuning, the banning of intake modifications like cold air intakes or turbochargers even. Basically, if anything causes a smile to the user, then it's probably banned. And this also means exhaust. One popular modification to exhaust is just making it louder. And this has me genuinely concerned. Because how are car guys going to get girlfriends if they don't have a loud exhaust? Now my car actually has an illegal exhaust modification and I don't want to go to jail. So let's just see how illegal this is using our handy dandy illegalometer right here. Okay, so we're just gonna turn this bad boy on and then I think all we do is just press it up to it. Oh my God. Oh my god, this is so illegal! This is so illegal! Now, also illegal is removing the catalytic converter. But this one actually makes sense. Because when you remove your catalytic converter, it's basically just exactly the same as littering. It's like you just treat the entire world like your own garbage can. And now we move on to the most tragic item on the list, and that is making your car look cool. This is just blatant oppression by the government to people who are car sexual. I mean, some of you guys have never felt a woman's touch and never will, so all you have to do when you're laying awake at night is to think about stanced cars and the government is trying to take this away. And they must also not want your car to be safer as well, because having a lower car with poke and camber actually makes it more stable and makes it handle better, which makes it safer. And shout out to truck guys for this, but having a lifted ass truck with big ass tires actually means it's safer because you won't get stuck in the wilderness as a result of having a low car. Basically what I'm saying is that the government is just trying to kill us off and this is the most effective way they've found of doing it. Now speaking of government, make sure to comment below and make fun of everyone from California because they have to deal with most of these things being banned. Now apparently someone actually got away with modifying their car in a crazy way because there's videos online of some 
crazy, probably maybe illegal styles, and I have a video where I just go over them and I tell you the thought process behind them and about the kind of owners who drive them, and then it's a really good video because it's really fun to watch, and then it's funny, and then you should go watch it. You should go click on it.